Hey there, ghouls and gals, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Hillary, and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So first things first, I want to apologize for my sweaty face. I decided to go out on a walk, and it is so humid, but I found this really cool beach right next to my house, so, like, that's a pro. This is a con. That's a pro. Also, I wanted to say that a lot of my technology has been failing me as of lately, so, like, is it a ghost? Is it crappy technology? We may never know. Well, anyway, aside from all that, tonight we are going to be covering the history of the Winchester Mystery House and possibly some of the ghosts, but we're gonna dive right on into it. So let's go. Since its construction in 1884, the Winchester Mystery House has been said to contain all the ghosts of people that were killed by the Winchester rifle. For those of you that don't know, obviously the Winchester name is a very popular name among guns. They made, I think, one of the first repeating rifles and got really rich off of it. And now it's a huge name. Even today, over a hundred years, the Winchesters are still big name in guns. Not only is this house supposed to be haunted by the ghosts of people killed by these guns, but also of Sarah Winchester herself and some of the workers that worked on this house. Sarah married her husband, William Winchester, and they lived in New Haven. They had a daughter and everything seemed to be perfect for their family until what they thought a curse struck them. Sarah and William's infant daughter that they had just had, I don't believe she was very old, uh, suddenly died and it was a disease that would waste away the body. So she, back then, I guess they didn't have all the medication for this and their daughter passed away. A couple years after that, William himself died, leaving Sarah an heiress to the Winchester fortune. Sarah's husband died of tuberculosis in 1881 and because of that, she inherited around $20 million, which at the time, was a lot of money. I believe in 2019, it's around 540, 545 million dollars. And that's in today's money. So she was rich, she was real rich. With all the grief of her infant daughter dying and her husband dying, she decided, I'm gonna go to a medium and I'm gonna go see what she has to say. So she went to a psychic and the psychic told her that she was channeling her husband and her husband said that all of the ghosts from the Winchester rifles are coming for you. And if you don't move west and continuously build a house without stopping so that the spirits can't find you, you may also die. Bad things will befall you. So Sarah obviously listened to what this psychic said and she picked up all her stuff and she moved from New Haven to California to go I believe start the building so she bought this farmhouse and started construction. So in 1884 she purchased this unfinished farmhouse in the Santa Clara Valley and started working to working to build it into what it is today and if you have ever seen it it is a crazy big building with stairways that go nowhere doors that fall down to the ground, all these things to confuse or make the spirits not able to find her. Sarah did not use an architect, but it said that she had a special room where she would hold seances and ask spirits, like, where should I build this? Like, what should I do? And she would hold these seances, contacting her husband and other such people and she would come with a drawing of what she wanted that day to be built and these carpenters would build it for her. So she had a seven story mansion by the end of this until 1906 when an earthquake hit and destroyed a lot of the work that they had done. So today as it sits, the Winchester Mystery House is about four stories when it used to be seven. So I'm just gonna read this off because it's a crazy amount of numbers and I'm really bad at math and I can't remember. So. There are roughly 161 rooms, 40 bedrooms, two ballrooms, 47 fireplaces, 10,000 panes of glass, 17 chimneys, two basement levels, three elevators, and it's it was about, I think, 162 
acres at one time that this house sat on. So what, this is well after Sarah herself died, but in 1924, Harry Houdini, and yes, the famous Harry Houdini, he's a wizard or a magician. He's a magician, but he went to the Win Winchester Mystery Mansion and even he who would go and he was very famous for like debunking, like he did not like spiritualists. He, he doesn't like people, which is kind of ironic because you're convincing people that you can get out of thing. Well, he can, but you know what I mean? He's, he would go and he would debunk spiritualists and th psychics and things like that when he thought that people were making things up. And he went there and even he stated that he felt something watching him and he felt something behind the walls. There was just something that he could not shake in the Winchester Mystery House. Even Sarah herself thought that this was crazy. She, she stated, I believe, in a letter that uh, must look crazy all the stuff I'm doing to like the win the house must must look must look insane like she thought building all these things was crazy so I wonder why she continued to do it was it the fear of these spirits attacking her but it's also on the other token sorry I'm holding a water bottle it's also on the other token stated that she that she had a little gun gallery in her house and you would think that if someone was so terrified of these spirits and so upset about the guns that killed all the won the west and killed all these people why would you have like a little area for that so on both sides people are like was this a thing wasn't it a thing we're not sure i think it was i don't really understand why you'd be building Stairs that go into the ceiling with no entrances and doors that you could just fall out on the flat concrete and bathrooms underneath other bathrooms. Like, it, I don't, it doesn't really make sense to me. So I'm going to read a couple of the ghost stories that have come out of the mansion and you guys let me know. Do you think it's haunted? Have you been there? Anyway, I'll get right into it. So the first story is the Hall of Fires. Some employees who worked at the mansion for Miss Winchester are said to have stayed on after their deaths. There are footsteps heard shuffling to and fro from Miss Winchester's room, her servants. There's an apparition with black hair who is frequently spotted pushing a wheelbarrow, perhaps the laborer. Um, workers encountered in the Hall of Fires, so it's named for its many fireplaces. Prior to the mansion opening for tours one day, the worker was on a ladder. He felt a tap on his shoulder and turned. No one was there. The worker refocused his attention to the task. That's when he felt what seemed like a hand pressing against his back. He was still the only one in the room, but not for long. That worker got out of there so fast, leaving the otherworldly laborer alone to handle the job. So the second story is Sarah's sealed room. So, the 1906 earthquake that destroyed San Francisco also caused serious damage to Miss Winchester's house. In fact, she was trapped in a room until her workers were able to set her free. Deeply shaken by her experience, Miss Winchester had the room sealed. It stayed that way until last year when the room was opened and added to the tours. On one of those tours, a guide gathered participants in the room to explain the history and point out that the objects found inside the room are more than 100 years after being sealed in the room. The guide heard a loud sigh in the hallway and went outside to bring in the straggler. She didn't find any tourists, but did see a small ghost form gliding around the corner. The guide quickly followed the ghost, still didn't see anyone, yet she heard another sigh. Perhaps Miss Winchester had used the sealed room as a refuge from the tourists. Well, that's all for my ghost stories tonight, and it's up to you guys to decide. Do you think it's haunted? Don't you? Personally, I think it is. There's a lot of bad stuff that happened to her, and I don't think that someone goes on a rampage building, building a house for no reason, like just continuous, continuous. Like there's, there's hobbies, and then there's obsessions and possible hauntings. And if enough people have experienced these things, which there's a lot, there's way more stories than what I've told you, it's gotta be just a little bit haunted. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I hope to see you on my next video.
Thanks, guys. Bye.